for the sign of Capricorn. Hello and welcome to my channel. We've got the Seven of Wands and the Six of Wands. Now the Six of Wands is the card at the top above the word present. Okay, now the Six of Wands is signals victory. If you're anxious about a court proceeding or if you're trying to win your lover's heart, just know that you'll be victorious. Now this can indicate any kind of celebration. You could be a part of a graduation party, commencement, celebration, or you could be receiving some type of a reward for maybe good work that you've done. The Six of Wands can make you feel really good about yourself. Uh, you may feel as you have a lot of support from everyone around you. On the other hand, you could adore someone else by where adoring them makes you feel amazing. Now, I hope you can see the picture of this card. Like I said, it's the card that's above the word present. That's the Six of Wands, and this lady is standing on a podium, or she's standing on something really tall, and then she's got all these people below her surrounding her, and they're rooting and they're cheering her on. So it's all about some type of victory that you'll be experiencing. Uh, recognition. Now, it's clarified with the Seven of Wands, the card below it. The Seven of Wands, it's about finding that in any sort of competition or competitive situation that you come out on top. Things should be going really well. You should be feeling good. And your projects, they should be moving right along. Now, you may still have some regular moments of self-doubt, but now will be the time to actually feel the fear and do it anyway. So don't hesitate to make clear where you stand with people because your thinking is clear. It's going to be on point. And you're likely to help someone out by spelling things out for them. This card, it also points towards being independent and thinking for yourself. So Capricorns, these, two, these are two great cards for your present time coming up first week of May. Six of Wands and Seven of Wands. You're going to be victorious with something and you'll help a lot of people out. They'll be cheering and rooting you on toward about some situation or could be just maybe people that you know and you're going to come out on top. Yeah. You'll be taking a stand and you'll, you'll be victorious. You'll be the, the last man standing with the Seven of Wands. So very good. So let's take a look at the rest of the reading. We'll move on over and we'll take a look at how they see you, the person you're dealing with. And they see you as Three of Cups and Eight of Wands. Now the Three of Cups, it's an interesting card. It's often considered a card of reunions. It's a reunion in the broadest sense, running back into someone or something that's been away for for a long time now it's considered to be a really happy reunion as you can see these people are jumping up in the air they're toasting their champagne and they're so happy they don't even realize they're about to land into a lake so it's a very happy reunion some type of happy return uh, someone could be coming back from your past it also means celebration it could be your own Someone that you care about, such as celebrating a new baby, a wedding, or some type of other happy occasion. So, it's paired with the Eight of Wands. Now, the Eight of Wands, it's showing that there could be a lot of things up in the air. And you're probably frustrated and tired of waiting. Now, this card, it's indicated that you just have to be patient a while longer because you've done all that you can do. Now decisions, they have to be made by other people. So when this card appears in your reading as it is, nothing seems to be moving ahead. But don't try to force it. And I say that because if you try to force it, it's, it'll probably backfire on you. There's a process going on here. So, you, so just don't force it. Sometimes our actions, they're all in the wrists. All you can do is put your best out there and see where it lands. You put your best out there, now you just have to wait. 
So basically, these two cards, Three of Cups and Eight of Wands, is how they see you. This is how your person is seeing you. They see you as happiness, friendship with the Three of Cups. And they see you with the Eight of Wands. You could be wanting this with this person. Happiness, friendship. You could be, they see you as wanting a reunion with them. But it's just not happening fast enough. So... They could also see you as Yeah, they could see you as a circle of support with this three of cups. They could see you as someone that they like celebrating with. But for some reason it's it's just, it's just not happening now. <laughs> and it could be because of the world situation. They see you as um, very rejoiceful. A lot to be celebrating about. Or they see you as... They could also see you as... Uh, someone from your past or someone from their past coming back or trying to come back or they see you as someone that they would like to come back from the, from their past but it's just not happening I don't know if you're talking to someone from your past Capricorn but they want to celebrate with you they want to be with you because you make them happy, but it is not happening yet. It's just up in the air. You could be talking to someone from your past, trying to get back with them, and it's just not moving along fast enough. Could be because of, you know, no one can really travel these days. Maybe they're far away. Could be something like that. But we'll get a bigger picture when we read the rest of the reading. Okay, so we'll come back to these cards. Now, let's move on over and let's take a look at how you see them. You see them like the King of Wands and the Hierophant. King of Wands. Now, uh, King of Wands, this person could have hair on the lighter end of the spectrum, but it could go either way. King of Wands is a very positive card in the tarot. Even when it does not represent an actual individual it's showing that men or people around you they are supportive it's very supportive of you and think really well of you you'll be feeling really ambitious goal oriented and furthermore you'll have the will to accomplish what you have in mind so king of wands is how you see them you see them very caring and having protective feelings about you. Protective and caring feelings about you. That's one of the ways you see them. Now, you also see them as the Hierophant. Now, the Hierophant, it could mean that you're searching for the meaning of life and you're considered to be a great loyal friend. When this type of person is called on for advice or help with some important matters or issues, their intelligence and empathy it puts them in a position to provide tremendous support now this could be you or someone coming towards you or someone you know who's quick-witted well-educated a wise teacher marked by integrity quite frankly this person they're the genuine article a true blue they're highly admired individuals who walk the walk talk the talk and stand firm in their beliefs and convictions 
So the Hierophant is also how you see them. You see them as having a very deep love for you with this Hierophant, and it cannot be broken. That's what the Hierophant stands for when it comes to love question, questions. There's a deep love there, deep love, and it cannot be broken. Now, like I said, there's a King of Wands there. You also see them as the King of Wands. So... You know this person has very protective and caring feelings about you and they try to keep it real with you with the Hierophant or they want to and the love is deep, very deep with the Hierophant, okay? So those two cards are really good for how you see them. Now let's move on over and let's take a look at why it's happening. We got the Two of Wands. And then we have the Fool card. Now the Two of Wands, it's important for you to keep your balance in every way that you can. Even to mundane, boring things. Like eating right, getting enough rest. With the Two of Wands, it can also indicate partnership with another person. This can be, this can be business, personal, or it could be both. But it reminds us to stay mindful. Of the give and take required for all successful relationships. So if things are feeling out of balance, just know that they're about to get substantially better. So it's about keeping your eyes on the prize that you're looking for. And stay positive. So that's one of the reasons why it's happening. Um... There's some planning to make this connection more equal, more balanced. And it's also happening because of the Fool card. Now, the Fool card uh, is very interesting, this card here. Very interesting. Now, it's an indicator of newness in one form or another. In many ways, it indicates the purity and open-hearted energy and the innocence of a child because children, they're trusting and trust forms the basis of meaning for this card. This is a positive card in the tarot. It's important to take time to be sure that you're looking where you're going. That's the only thing that could be a negative. You have to make sure you're looking where you're going because trusting yourself to take a step into the unknown, that's one thing, but if you do so without any thought whatsoever, it could be a big mistake, okay? And I say this because this young man, he's, it looks like he could be hiking. And he's just feeling so open hearted open hearted. He's just feeling he just has an open hearted energy right now. And he's ready to leap into whatever. Okay. And he's doing it without any thought whatsoever, obviously, because he's about to walk off of a cliff right into the and he's about to land right into the Atlantic Ocean. Because what's below him is all blue water surrounding him. And it definitely looks like some huge ocean. You can't see the picture. Probably not so well, but that's what's below him. So it's about being careful about this open-hearted energy that you might start to experience or feel. Because you'll be feeling like taking a leap. Now this is one of the re other reasons why it's happening, because of the Fool card. So it's the Fool card and the Two of Wands. Um, the, like I said, the Two of Wands is about planning to make better. You could have two paths to a future, two decisions to make towards a future, to balance things out to become more equal with the Two of Wands. Um, it could also be wanting a future with your person with the two of wands and it looks like you or your person is just ready to jump right in there with the fool card so let's recap this reading so that we'll get the full picture so for your present time you have a lot of victory and success coming 
for you, Capricorns. And a lot of people will be looking up to you and cheering you on. And you come out on top with the Seven of Wands. That's for the present time. And then your person, they see you as maybe a past person that they want to be with. This could be someone that wants to come back. They see you as someone from their past, maybe. Or just they see you as uh, someone that they want to celebrate with, that they like a lot. But it's not uh, not happening fast enough. Could be because we, it's hard for us to get together these days. And then you see them as having caring and, protect, caring and protective feelings for you. And that there's a deep love there that cannot be broken. Um, and then why it's happening is because um, the opportunity needs to be seized here with the Two of Wands. And somebody, you or your person, just needs to jump right in there. Just needs to take a leap. But it's not happening yet. Yeah, because we've got this powerful Eight of Wands here where things are just up in the air. But what's so good about it is, is that eventually you two, you will be successful. This connection will be successful and um, you'll have a lot of people admiring. Admiring you or just looking up to this connection or just looking up to you. And then the uh, connection, the relationship, it comes out on, on top. But right now, it's just up in the air. The Eight of Wands is really shouting out in this reading. And the good thing about this reading is that you both have strong feelings for each other. But this, in that uh, you or your person, you feel like the fool card. You're ready to just jump right in there and take a leap towards this connection. And the Two of Wands, like I said, it means that you you guys are ready. You want a future with each other. Planning to make things more equal. You're planning to come together. But it, this is speaking loud for some Capricorns that are in separation right now. And that, you, and that you can't get together. Probably because of what's going on out there. This virus is keeping a lot of people apart. So there's a lot of love there. I like this reading. And I like the way it comes out on top and that you guys will have a lot of success and victory in this in this um, relationship when you guys do finally come together. So, uh, good for you Capricorn. What a nice reading. So, I hope this really works out well for someone. It's shouting out loud like somebody's, some, a lot of you Capricorns are waiting to get together with your, with your special person. And you got a lot of feelings for them, and they got a lot of love for you. Love for you. Love for you.